Good morning. Happy Tuesday to everyone up here in uh, Talkeetna, Alaska. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, had a good sleep last night up in the cabin. Uh, today, uh, again, Tuesday, and got a lot of exploring to do. I think we're going to go hit up uh, one of their local grocery stores here to stock up on some supplies. Uh, so we can do some cooking up here at the cabin later to, uh, later on today, and then just do some exploring around uh, the cabin, the lake. Uh, I think there's some hiking trails and stuff that go around back here. They've got some kayaks that I'm kind of excited to get on and, and, and take a paddle around the lake. Uh, but we're also looking to uh, possibly go uh, walk around downtown uh, Talkeetna, that little village area, and, and, and see what's happening there. So one day away from the wedding, uh, super excited and uh, glad you guys are here. So, the kayaks were just too tempting, so I figured it, it was time to come out and have a, have a kayak and, and get out here on the water for a little bit and, uh, and check this beautiful lake out. You know, it was just, it was just too tempting to sit there and just, and just look at them, so. Uh, we're gonna go for a, for a row around the lake and, and check things out. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> we don't want to lose the camera now, do we? <laughs> there we go. Maybe it'll stabilize for me right there. Never really kayaked before, so. Just trying to take it easy. I don't want to tip this thing over. I think this water is probably absolutely ice cold. <laughs> but just so peaceful and just beautiful out here. Yeah. It'd be nice to, you know, come back here and enjoy this, you know, again another time. Beautiful. There's Andy and Deb on the paddle boat. Just beautiful out here. So peaceful. <laughs> and, uh, you need a counterbalance on that thing, man. <laughs> you need a counterweight over on Deb's side. <laughs> and just just spectacular we were a little concerned about the weather uh because it's just been up and down you know uh whether or not we're gonna have uh proper proper weather for our wedding hopefully tomorrow um if not we might have to reschedule it you know just depending on what the weather's gonna do since we're gonna do the glacier landing and and all that good stuff but yeah just you know, spend some time out here on the lake and enjoy, and uh, uh, and just and just take a take another lap around and 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 enjoy this just peacefulness out here on the water. Listen to that. So cool, so cool. It's still sinking in that we're up here in Alaska too. You know, I mean, just. Uh, what a trip, you know, to come up here and destination wedding to, to, to do this, so super cool. Four hours later. <laughs> and I worked up a hell of a thirst. <laughs> You'll have to come out first. Check it out here. We're uh, we're in Talkeetna, charming little village town here, getting ready to have lunch at 
the Denali Brewing Pub. We had dinner here last night, so we liked it so well, you know, we figured we'd try it twice. We gotta get Andy the meatloaf. Yes, gotta have the reindeer meatloaf. Gotta have the reindeer meatloaf. Neat little Alaskan town. We'll take you guys for a tour here in just a few. Place. Awesome lunch at the Denali Brewing Company. Uh, stopped over there after we were uh, having a great dinner last night. Absolutely awesome. So we thought we'd try it for lunch. Now we're just kind of uh, taking in the rest of Talkeetna and, uh, and hanging out. So join us for this walk. It is. Wow, how pretty is that? Check out the blue moose here. Checking out the famous Nagley's store. It's been here since 1921, since Talkeetna has been around. So we're gonna go inside and check that one out. So taking some, some tips from some of the, uh, the locals that live here, some decent places to come to, and this is what they call their beach uh, over here behind me. This is uh, three rivers, the Sasitna, Chugiak or something like that, and the Talkeetna River all come together at these headwaters right here behind me. Just how absolutely beautiful is that? Ah, hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to Wednesday up here in Talkeetna. Supposed to be getting married today. I mean, you guys look behind me, the weather looks pretty good, but our, uh, our charter service is saying it may or may not be very good right now. All that fun aviation stuff that we just won't bore you all with right now. But uh, hopefully it'll turn out to be a, a much prettier day. I mean, it's beautiful out here on the lake. Andy and I are out here having a paddle, you know, while we're kind of waiting things out to see how it's gonna go. So, uh, more to follow, I guess. But yeah, welcome to Wednesday up here in Talkeetna. Yeah, how cool is this? We found the uh, headwater area where the river comes in and feeds this lake that we're out here paddling on. It's pretty cool. 
Yeah, I really thought that that was going to be a beaver dam over there. But you can see where they put, you know, sandbags or something yeah. in there. Yeah. Interesting. Well, hopefully the weather holds out for us here to where we can get up in the air. We'll see. All right. Deb finally got in a kayak. How you doing over there, Andy? Good. Don't ask me that when I try to get out, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just went up the river a little ways as far as it would go. Oh, I didn't know that there was Yeah. More. Hmm. So they said in the in the welcome book that mm -hmm. the uh that this lake is fed by one of the rivers. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to go find it. Andy spotted it over here to the left cuz we were I was over there monkeying around over there on the right side. No, no, we just went up as far as we could before it kind of got dammed up a little bit back there, but it's it's a decent little paddle if you two want to go check it out. Do you have your phone with you? I don't. It's 11 o'clock. I guess I should go, go in and make a phone call, huh? Yep. Well, I'll go do that. You guys go paddle. and Do you have your phone? I do. Do you want it? Well, yeah. If you have your phone, then I don't have to go all the way in. <laughs> <sighs> Guess I should have brought my phone. We might get married today. Maybe. We're working on it. Kinda. Some more than others. <laughs> well, we're not really sure if we're getting married today or not. <laughs> So we're probably going to have to postpone the uh, the wedding till tomorrow, but we decided we would come over here into this little river area and harvest uh, some freshwater clam or oyster. Misty's got a good one over there, and I've got a small mess of them here that we're going to take back and clean them up and and, and have a little snack and appetizer with, uh, with our lunch. What is that saying? Whenever the life hands you lemonades or no, when life hands you lemons. Yeah. When, when life hands you lemonades, eat clam. Yeah, something like that, right? Wait a minute, that probably didn't sound very good. <laughs> maybe not eat clam. Uh, maybe go fish. I don't know. But anyway, we're out here having fun and uh, catching some lunch out here on the kayaks. And uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, we'll We'll see what happens with uh, with this wedding, uh, maybe later today or probably tomorrow. Yeah. Take a picture of those and send them to uh, Jessica, Tommy, and uh, Dan, and uh, tell them. There we go. Oh. Because you're videoing it, <laughs> ass. No clam for Misty. Ask them what they are. As we wrap up part two, we make a fine Alaskan Razorback clam chowder. And boy, was it absolutely delicious. Good job on that one, Andy. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. In part three, Misty and I actually get married on the glacier, but more on that in the next episode. See you in part three, and more aviation videos are coming soon.